It's the alleged murder for hire plot that went viral. It's rolling as South Florida police tell Dahlia DiPolito a big, bold lie. It's your husband, Michael. Okay, I'm sorry to tell you, ma'am, he's been killed. Investigators say her reaction is a lie, too. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Maya Mystery. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the six subtypes of narcissists. And for the subject of today's video, we're featuring on Miss Dahlia DiPolito. If you don't know who Dahlia DiPolito is, she was a former escort and call girl who was convicted of conspiracy to commit first degree murder against her husband, Mike DiPolito. This was a very publicised case with a lot of twists and turns and Dali actually claimed as her defence that the whole reason she stuck out a hitman to kill her husband was to be part of a reality television show that her and her husband both consented and wanted to be part of. Which sounds like the most insane defence that I have ever heard. So first of all I'd like to talk to you guys about the six types of narcissists. And the first one is the toxic narcissist, and that's the type of narcissist that continually causes drama in other people's lives and causes pain and destruction at the very worst. So if you have a friend who always sort of demands your time and attention, and if you, they don't actually respond very well, if you don't do exactly what they say and meet those demands, you might be dealing with a toxic narcissist. Also, if you have someone in your life that has caused extreme issues, like gotten you fired from your job, physically abused you, or led to the end of a relationship, they might be a toxic narcissist as well. The second type is the psychopathic narcissist, and I've talked about this type a lot on my channel. Um, they are unstable and aggressive, and like they're actually kind of like the toxic narcissist but much worse they will definitely be violent and show no remorse for their behavior and this type of narcissist is um, what we see a lot with serial killers another type is the closet narcissist this one's trickier to spot because the person isn't always obvious about their disorder they'll be the one who doesn't inflict their personality upon others or society but firmly believes in the characteristics of narcissism that can mean a host of things including feeling entitled constantly needing other people to admire them, being preoccupied with success, being jealous of other people and lacking empathy for others. These types of narcissists are a bit more codependent and they often try to pretend that they're really selfless but like to associate themselves with someone that they admire and ride their coattails. Then we get on to the exhibitionist narcissist and this is the type that is at actually the opposite end of the narcissism spectrum than the closet narcissist. This is the narcissist who lets everyone around them know that they are narcissistic. They take advantage of other people and they're arrogant. They're also blatant about their self-centered behavior. They need to be in the spotlight and get uncomfortable when they're not. Another type is the bullying narcissist. This person combines two terrible traits, bullying and self absorption. Bullying narcissists build themselves up by trashing other people. They're often fixated on winning and will mock or threaten others to get their way. They ultimately get joy from making other people feel bad, small or unworthy. And it's different from a regular bully who tends to put people down for social gain, where a bullying narcissist does it for personal motivation. The last type is the seducer narcissist, and it's a tricky type of narcissist as well. They will make you feel great about yourself just to win you over as a sexual or love conquest. They will often seem to admire or fawn over you, only to write you off once they no longer have a use for you. So if you ask me which of the six subtypes specified by Dr. John Mayer of narcissists that Dahlia DiPolito falls into, I'd have to choose the seducer narcissist. And this is due to a number of reasons. Dahlia DiPolito has been painted by the media as a very attractive woman. She's obviously operated throughout her life knowing this, using this to get what she wanted. She was an escort, she was a call girl. She didn't have a problem capitalizing on her sex appeal. And even in the way she carried out her um, solicitation to commit first degree murder, she was very easily sort of able to lure people in with how she looked. It was actually her ex-lover who was involved in this solicitation. What she didn't realize is that people could actually see through her manipulative, narcissistic ways and she ended up in prison because of it. Dahlia DiPolito was willing to commit 
the worst crime that you can commit due to her own selfish needs. She had no empathy, no compassion for her husband. She only seen what she wanted for herself and she was willing to do whatever it took to get there. I've talked about this before in my comment section. I think somebody asked, why are psychopaths and narcissists normally attractive? And I don't think that they are normally attractive. I think they're born with, you know, the same ability to be attractive as the rest of us. I just think they try and play this up and utilize it as much as possible because it lowers people's guards. And I think Dahlia DiPolito set out in life to get whatever she wanted, no matter what the cost. And the fact that she could play up her sex appeal, she realized, was a very, very effective tool in her arsenal to get to where she truly wanted to be. So when it comes to how to spot a seducer narcissist, the traits are pretty actually easy to pick up on. Be careful if someone who comes across as overly charming, they could mirror you. They could act like they've known you forever once you've really just met them and they could try and make you feel safe around them, opening up about something that happened to them a little bit too soon. The thing about narcissists and psychopaths and sociopaths is they all come across a little bit too intense too quickly. Um, and this is probably the case for Dahlia DiPolito too. She was probably very skilled at making people feel safe around her, to trust her. Mike DiPolito actually married her after four months. Little did he know that this woman had it in her to kill someone to get what she wanted. And this is very common with narcissists and psychopaths and toxic people, is that you never really know what you're going to truly get with them. So guys, I hope you liked that video talking about the six subtypes of narcissists and which specific subtype that I believe that Dahlia DiPolito falls into. I'm going to continue this series and look at each subtype in a little bit more detail and um, provide an example of someone that I think could possibly fit that subtype. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.